We're here at Renfro RV Resort and Cabins just outside of Seward, Alaska. 17 miles, I believe, uh, from Seward, Alaska. You have the lake right steps, steps outside of your cabin and there are cabins that are right on the lake. Drink. So it's a great little campground. I'm gonna take you on a drive through the campground and show you the where the RV park is, the laundry, and where our cabin is, and uh, show you where the lake is. So you come in off the highway right there. This is the lodge where you check in at. When you first get in here, not a huge, huge uh, campground, so that makes it really nice. It's not super busy, and it's very quiet. There is uh, construction. I don't know if you could hear it, but construction at night. One yep. train went through here, uh, maybe around 10:30 at night. We did hear that. They have private, uh, a private crossing that comes through the campground for the Alaskan Railroad, which is super cool. You can come out here twice a day. They have the Alaskan Railroad comes through here, so uh, you can come out here right by the tracks and watch it. Very cool. I'm going to take you on a drive through the campground now. The um, lodge here has Wi-Fi. The RV campground has Wi-Fi from what I understand, but um, and over by the laundry here. But once you get towards the cabins, you have no connectivity at all. No cell, no internet, no Wi-Fi. So just keep that in mind. The RV spots are not full hookups. Uh, they have electricity and a dump station nearby. Uh, I'm not sure, I think they have water also. Uh, they're kind of close by and- uh, close, close by each other. Close by each yeah. other, very little spacing. Yeah. Uh, unlike the cabins, the cabins are uh, spaced well apart. Yeah. And, and beautiful. Yeah, it's very quiet. private railroad crossing here, the sign here. So twice a day, the Alaskan Railroad passes through here. This is our little cabin right here. Right in the middle of the forest. And all the cabins are pretty much like this too. They're all, it's a very forested area. So, very cute. We love it here.
This is cabin number one, and this is the view. It's right on the lake. Looks right out onto the lake. So pretty. We're on our way out of here. We had a really good time. If you uh, have any questions, you can comment below. I'll put the information of uh, the address and everything. In case you're interested, I'll put it in the description. So, had a good time, right? Right. We enjoyed it. Beautiful place. Yep. Uh, nice rooms. Yep. Uh, if you want to get away from everything for a little bit, this is a perfect place. Yeah. Oh, you know, another thing I wanted to say too is they, um, our cabin number six had a kitchen and it doesn't have a microwave just to let you know but um plan ahead that way you bring your own groceries in because it is almost 20 miles to get to sewer to go get groceries and food and everything but we really enjoyed being able to cook in there it has a refrigerator all the pots and pans that you need uh, silverware plates cups um, it has a keurig coffee maker so uh, you're pretty well stocked Yep, it works good. Trip in to us, Safeway every couple days. Yeah, is, yeah. We'll do it. Yeah, there is a Safeway in town too. So, but if you want, you know, like we did a couple of nights, we drove into Seward and we uh, had dinners, a lot of restaurants there in Seward. So, uh, had a great time. So, we're going to be hitting the road now. So, we'll catch up with you guys later. Bye.